Hello everybody, welcome to the semi-final of CCL playoffs, uh, season number 40. We've got Chu Blanc and his Dwarves versus Cruz and his Ch Chaos Dwarves. In the booth with me is Fimey and Purple Chest and also Fault Force. Hello! Hello everybody, and we start with a riot. So yeah, there you go. Things are gonna get in a little more difficult for Crucifer. Ooh, both claws failed off the bat. Yeah, good morning everybody. Do forgive me, it's an unsuitably evil hour of the morning. Uh, only a time when a Russian could feel like banging on things. Right, here I we go! Him. Dead, dead, dead! <laughs> Just a rookie, but dead. Yeah, that one's that one's not coming back. Alright, okay, nice start there. <laughs> Well, I was going to say that uh, Crucifer here oh, with a beautiful Chaos Dwarf team, as as usual. Uh, but if anything, maybe tiny, a tiny bit lacking in claw. Uh, but a straight up kill there with just one of his mighty blow chorfs. Always a nice way to start. To be fair, both of his claws just roll pushes, which is a bit yeah. rubbish, isn't it? It is a bit rubbish, and it's traditionally the way. Uh, we'll probably see at least one injury from a non mighty blow piece with so much mighty blow on the field, of course. Oh, thank you very much, Full Force. You didn't have to. Uh, you didn't have to leave or anything. It was just the start of the YouTube. But uh... <laughs> I'm a left. What the fuck are you talking about, okay. Jimmy? Okay. Well, you just wrote it in the chat. <laughs> <laughs> you just wrote That's... it in the chat, which confused me. Thank you very much, Full Force. No worries. So yeah, what is it gonna be? I can see that the uh, Shublang induce a dirty player. Uh... Oh yeah, dirty dwarf. Player, a wizard and a... Yes, a wizard and a dirty player. Could yes, I mean, Chu's uh, roster is, I think we'd call it tight. Um, featuring just 11 players as it does, with one of them being uh, a rookie runner that presumably was bought in for this round match after losing the odd player the last one. Um, but of course, in the last game we did invent the term eschewing. <laughs> uh, for dwarves that just uh, destroy everything they touch or look at. Yeah. Uh, it's it's just do. dwarf things. They do be like that. We did see a lot of turns in his last yeah, game. Yeah, this is a classic game. Foul and uh, really and roll he there. Died, so he couldn't. But of course, traditionally on paper, you'd think the dwarves have the, uh, the advantage here. They've, they've got the claw to delete the dwarves, but... There's a cast! <laughs> <they're shooting. laughs> Instant apple. <laughs> First thing this is the classic the battle cast. of in incels with fedoras versus uh, emo incels. <laughs> I mean, I, I don't know about you, Jim. I feel I come to learn at the feet of Shu here. Oh, man, he's so good at blood ball. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's just the way it is. I mean, dwarves are powerful as they are, right? Chorves are basically more powerful dwarves, but you, you'd be a scum if you play Chorves. So, you know, you deserve to have your players killed. Simple as. <laughs> oh, God, can you nice get four team. guys in to make this two dice? I think you can. Yeah. I think it's two to make it two dice. Yeah, he absolutely can. And then there's the foul to follow up with. Oh, no, not We could see him. Oh, we could have seen him up on numbers. Because with both a hit, even without Mighty Blow and a foul, I don't think any of us watching, having seen Shoe Coach, believed that Dwarf would still be there. Well, um, all action beginning. Shoe is continuing to shoe his way through anything in front of him. And Crucifer is also, you know, removed a piece. Now, the Dwarves do have a bench uh, of one, so that's used up. Yep. And the Chorfs have a bench of two, but their Apo's gone. Um, God, push from the claw pond. If we were one of those channels that love doing predictions, we could predict exactly how many players will be left at the end of the match. Oh, God, not many, I that, reckon. Yeah, that, I think about six. The eight, answer is, seven. I go with none of the above. <laughs> what skills do the Chorfs have? Uh, Pedro Jack asks. The Chorfs have uh, Crucifer coaching them. That's their main skill. Yeah. Um... They have Chaos Dwarf blockers, which are basically the same as beards, but with mutation access on doubles. So pretty much all of them have guard and mighty blow. Uh, one of them is plus strength. A couple of them have claw, and a couple of them stand firm. Yeah, 
basically, as long as he doesn't lose the balls, as it gets down to less players, yeah. like, you know, six a side, or maybe he's even eight a side, yeah. the balls just rise in value, don't they? That's the thing. They do. And any remaining claw mighty pieces also become even more dominant because you can't avoid them. Um, the dwarf's hope, obviously, is in trying to take out the hobgoblins, or if you're Shu, just removing a Chaos Dwarf around. Yeah. Yeah, that's going to be a problem for Cruz if he gets a player cast every pit like <laughs> like Mr. Page did. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. as Jack says, and I agree, the Pomber or the, the Blitzer Pomber must be fouled. Yes. I mean, boot to the face, 24-7, all night long. Yeah, yes. screw the ball, no one cares. No one cares about the ball. No, the ball is, is, I mean, somewhat like a Rick Reckless Chalice run. The ball is somewhat irrelevant this half. <laughs> Both halves, let's be honest. Well, yeah. <laughs> also, it's relatively easy to keep the ball safe, you know. <gasps> oh, absolute pinnacle, we should invite you on. I love because, that. Shoe uh, is licking off the crunchy shell before he gets to the creamy hobgoblin scent. <laughs> <laughs> uh, poetry in the morning. I like that from Yak as well. He would have re rolled that if it was Blood Bowl 3, no doubt. That's true, isn't it? You could. <laughs> he totally would have done <laughs> All rerolls gone and turn one greed rerolls would be amazing. Oh, only a stun. Thick skull, keeping him on. Yep. There you go, there is a point for having a thick skull as a skill. Mm. Point for dwarves. Well, I mean, in things that are on the line of scrimmage taking hits, you do want thick skull, don't you? Yeah. Well, it depends. Oh, you want it. You want AV10 as well, don't you? You want, you yeah, want strength yeah. 6. Well, you want strength 7. Well, you want strength 9. You want strength Yes, nine, but would you buy it? Eight, Probably ten. not. <laughs> and you want block and dodge and fend and sidestep. And you do want thick skull, yes. <laughs> and regen. Yes, and I have this idea for a race called Space Marines. I wonder if it would be popular. Yeah. I made a team like that, you know, when they released the rules for creating your own players, because you could give your player Titchy, which then wasn't like it is now. It made every Dodger two plus, and I could you could make your men cheaper by making them Adge one. So I had and no hands. <laughs> so my my linemen had like no hands and Adge one, but they had Titchy. So they were, <laughs> they were still strong three, but like they were like ten k. Uh, predicting the mercenary abuse years before it happens. Exactly, you see, I am nothing if not a disgusting min max. Well, uh, you know, like, just being able no, to. You're a creative abuse thinker. I mean, and lots of Blood Bowl coaches are. I mean, years of running tournaments on Fumble taught me that. Anything you design, I'm instantly to think, right, how do I now turn this around and look to break it? What are yeah. people going to do? Oh my god, okay, I'm used to Oh, oh, Leon Armour break. Oh, but yeah, I mean, that's still really useful in terms of. Halting progress. It's not as useful as taking one of the bulls down would be. Uh, no, but he's not going to run the bulls the away from the Chaos Dwarves this early in the game. <laughs> he's not in the claw palm. Greed it. Is. No. Our frenzy doesn't have to greed it. He, he gets another go. Pal. He gets it. It's <laughs> going to be it. He gets the end. End. Dead. Oh, dead, <laughs> dead, dead. <laughs> Holy shit. Get fucked. <laughs> wow. Chu has sold his soul to a dark, dark god. <laughs> it's not supposed to be like this. I've no, done this a lot. Deserved. This you is not Chorbs. supposed to be how it works. No, no you play Chorbs. You deserve this. Honestly. I can see uh, Singolo playing with 11 blitzers next uh, <laughs> season of the challenge. <laughs> After the brutal efficiency of the dwarf bleacher <laughs> redeeming themselves in the eyes of the community. Oh, All I'm going to say is, imagine if he had a death roller. <laughs> he doesn't need it. <laughs> Why? Yeah. Imagine the massacre that would happen. The entire team would have been removed by about turn six. Oh, dude. Yes, Fall yes, Force, you didn't see the semi-final. The semi-final against, against Mr. Page, he made ten yeah. cars against Clawpom Chaos. Ten As you do. No That's chaos. What, 11. No chaos. Zero. He also has Mr. Page. Yeah. Zero has chaos. I mean, out of Blood Bowl. Yeah. Unreal. Blood Bowl is a cruel, cruel game. Oh, yeah. It really horrible. is. It's a cruel, cruel summer. Oh, there's another oh, chaos! 
Well, that's what happens if you put your main runner right in the line. Yeah, that's that was got the to thing be to get the 2D, Is that Apple? Yeah, it was. Oh, the Apple, though, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Apple's worked. The 50% Doubtless. pays off. I mean, he had to Apple that, though. Yeah, had to. Yes. Any Who chance is going to carry game? the ball? The, the, the rookie th runner on the bench. The, it was yeah, a, it was exactly. a possibility, but you, the missing final is the bigger thing. You can cope without it if it was just badly hurt. You probably wouldn't. You'll cope with the rookie runner somehow, but missing the final, you've got to throw an app over that. Hundred <laughs> percent. What gains the man if he wins the world but loses his prime runner for the final? Exactly. Uh, Cruz has already used the apple in turn one. Yep. Oh yeah, Cruz's apple is long gone. Yeah, he's a. Uh... <laughs> Got fault for here. Oh, now uh, it's me taking the hit there. As you do. I don't want to die. I want to reach the final and die in the final. <laughs> well, Fault Force is actually serving um, an important purpose here. Because we need someone that just responds like a human to this. Because I'm lost, Jimmy. I... <laughs> it's just the relatability of bad Blood Bowl coaches. You know, everybody who watches Jimmy is a bad Blood Bowl coach. <laughs> You know, that's why they enjoy him. Well, I mean, that's so, what I was yeah. trying to hint at, Full Force, yes, but not explicitly say it. Sometimes um, you just got to say it. It do be like that. <laughs> yeah, you do be like that. Only sometimes. <laughs> Only sometimes. Do it sometimes. You know, when there's a why at the end of the day. The Blood Bowl mantra, do it sometimes. So, I, I, I don't know how to commentate this. I mean, what goes this round is important. Who dies next? That's... Mm. The goal we should be thinking about. Bull in danger, oh. strength five, bull in danger. It's mental, but, isn't it? Yeah, bull in Sorry, I thought briefly you said ball in danger. I was going to say, why does that matter? It's, a, it's absolutely mental. I love it. What we do is we set a timer on our phones, and every couple of minutes that goes by, we watch just, to see if there's a casualty. We just count the dead. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Oh, I, need to put, I need to put a shirt on. I mean, there is a ball on the field. Is it's there? it's over there, sort of in the corner. Oh, that, that is um, happening. The ball is indeed that. happening. It has become, no one uh, really cares about it. The dwarves enveloping the chorves in a festival of guard. Yeah, I mean, they're both what, sort of enveloping is, each other, aren't they? What is the guard situation like? Have they both got a reasonable amount of guard? Like yeah, there's, there's some. There's there's a there's a couple of guard here and there. They they've gone more kill than guard, which is interesting. I mean, this is very Napoleonic warfare, isn't it? You've got your your battle lines, you're drawn up, and or you just walk up to each other and start punching as a way. <laughs> yeah, it works. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, normally I'd say possibly crucial stun there, but but who knows? If things don't die, that's probably good, isn't it? I can only assume so. Prime is things tends to die. <sighs> Storybook ball. Where is... Oh, here we go, Claw... It's only Claw Mighty, though, isn't it? Do we actually like the DP beard? Um, <sighs> that's a really hard question. I'm so lost here. Yes, it worked for him against Mr. Page. You know, the few things he hit that didn't instantly I... die, he fouled. So he's, I guess uh, he feels, let's do that again. And so far, so good. So, yeah. Why not? Why, why how much, not? How much money is the... That's 150. Uh, 150. So the other option was getting an apple and a babe. An apple and a babe. Or an apple and barrack. Or an apple and boomer for another body on the line. Or possibly... I mean, boomer can be more than that. But really, there you're looking at a body on the line for a short drive. Works well against squishy teams, that's all you need. I mean, the dirty player adds an extra player and the chance to, you know, there are every yeah, single target, it's a juicy target. Because remember, he's got a bench of one, and it wasn't like he was ever going to keep everyone healthy for that bench to replace the sent-off fan. Yeah. I just, I think without a bribe to back it up, it's a bit... It's a bit of a long shot, but as I said, it worked brilliantly against Mr. Page. And when I watch you coach, it's obvious I know nothing and I'm an idiot. I mean, <laughs> and I'm, oh, he's I'm here to learn. No, he's not. Oh? I'm here to learn. 
but there we are. Jump up, hit the ball for one dice because ah, mistake. you might kill it. There, they said one die into one die. I know he's moving. Okay. Some sometimes you have to get your testes, put them up against the wall, and get your staple gun out and just start fouling. <laughs> You know, because otherwise, if you're too scared to use it, you're not going to get your worth out of it, and then it's just a dead player. I mean, any chorf that, that the dirty player can kill, except the rookie, is a fantastic target. Exactly. I mean, uh, yeah. So you just you just got to keep on doing it. You know. Oh, he's his arguably, guy. I don't know. Arguably, why he didn't start with really, really rowdy here. I don't know why he didn't just start with that. He could have won the world. Well, yeah. I think that whoever gets also, momentum. Then, if he matchup, wanted the blitz on the bull, he could have done it with better dice, couldn't he? Yeah, or he could have fireballed yeah. that. He could have fireballed them, couldn't he? He could have fireballed uh, yeah. three, three could have. dwarfs and two things, and then that would have probably freed something up to hit the ball, and then that would have been yeah. devastating. Yep. Yeah. Well, he's still thinking like he's trying to win a blood bowl game, Jim. He's trying to win a war. Yeah. And I, I mean, I still like the fireball idea for winning the war. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But he's, he's not in a bad position. No, it's not terrible. He's been very lucky with the one dice the, and the uphill. Yeah. I mean, this the Hobgoblin's almost certainly going to have to score this turn. Yeah, you're, you're a bit staticky PC. Just so you know. Yeah, you can still build the radio. Yeah, thanks, Cocky. Yeah, pretty happy with him so far. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah very happy. Yeah. Later, later I'll send you the photo, Jim. <laughs> Cheers. Thank you for that. Hopefully my pee butter smoothness has returned. Oh yes, much better. Glorious. Though I actually prefer crunchy. I think people orally do not. <laughs> um, yes, I think the Chorfs are going to have to score this turn, unless they do something bulltastic, and it doesn't look like he's interested in that. Are we looking at a 3-2-2 here? The okay. fail state's not terrible, is it? It is a loner He's not going to do that. He's got a beard. blitz. He's got a blitz straight away. He's not going to a 3 plus. Uh, yeah, you're right, he's coming with the Hobgob. Even safer than the 2 plus with the Chorf, I should have known. Very crucial. Yeah, yeah he's very safe. He's he nothing is. if not safe, his old Cruz. As conservative as the rowdy one himself, Elliot. Maybe he's trying to tempt a whiz here. That's a reasonable point, yeah. It's in a good position, I mean... Uh... There are not that many uh, doors that can reach. Mm. Oh. And all of them involve doing uh, lots of uh, more than a few dice rolls. Mm. I mean, what's your, a... what's your alternative? You let him stall for a little bit and try and, uh, you know, and try and run up to him. Maybe try and wizard next turn, depending on if he scores or not. Because I'm assuming he's not going to score. Mm. You know, but it's how fast you can rotate over with the dwarves, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, he can believe he can free a uh, long beer. The one with the, that, this one, yes, under pressure. The one he's freeing right now. Yeah, exactly. He frees that long beard, um, brings it back, and then maybe blitzes the hobgoblin off with the loner to bring another dwarf back. It's about trying to bring some pressure into this backfield. What he could uh, do is right. Check this out. He double GFI, pierce the ball, then loner dodge, GFI two D the ball. GG. Yeah, it's two, two, four, two, and you've only got re-rolls on the first twos. But no it might be worth a try. There's no. Oh no, he's out. No re-roll. Just go for it. No, just don't re-roll. Just go for it. Just go for it. If it works, it works. Yeah, yeah, fair enough. I mean, it is only the two first twos, and those probably aren't worth re-rolling because you, as you said, there's no way you can re-roll that four on a loner. Yeah. Um. On the other hand, you know, even if you do get two turns, are you going to two turn against two huge bulls? I was about to say, you're not going to be able to two turn as dwarves easily, especially against that, yeah? You're basically fucked at this point. Either you, you go are. for it or you don't. Yeah, I'd want you know? at least three. The other alternative is he just keeps trying to punch and remove pieces from Crucifer. Well, I mean, he's freed another dwarf to pull in the backfield. There's a chance that Crucifer decides to stall out again, even though I don't think he needs to. These dwarves that don't believe can t two turn. Well, if he does, you just go for the bolt. And then, yeah, you maybe have the pieces to make him pay for it, but... I don't think... I mean, I'm feeling a bit Jimmy in the semi here, but uh, I, I, I quite like just keeping the whiz dry now. Yeah. Oh, your, uh, your Greg's is outside, Jimmy. 
Oh, thank you oh. very much. Ho, right. ho, my god. <laughs> I shall be right back then. I'll. Uh... Yeah, don't worry. I grab your uh, energy, your calories, and your proteins, uh, Jim. They're necessary. Um, it's, it's just me. I mean, I know it's a lovely thing you do, Fulton Force, and you're clearly. Yeah, that was really nice. Lovely. That was really, really nice. Uh, and someone needs to be, you know, looking after Jimmy because we all know he struggles to look after himself. I do but really like that. I do always just. There was a legendary documentary that I will never leave my mind called Fat Girls and Feeders. Oh, yeah. And Secret Crowd. <laughs> I do think one day you just want to get him plump on a bed where you're filling him with KFC six times a day, which you've seen. I mean, I've tried. Protein into the milkshakes. You've seen what I've done to Space Cadet. Man. Oh. The amount of food that I fed him. I am uh, yeah, still a little, like a little worried there. So exactly. <laughs> well, yes, Space Cadet, you know, yes, needs a. Uh, uh, the man needs a full belly, is him. I've tried to feed Space Cadet, he just somehow remains the skinniest thing in this fucking planet. He just fuel it by hate and rage. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. It might be the liquid vim running through his veins. It's like Sauron, you know, in the Lord of the Rings. Only negative uh, energy feeds him. Exactly. And he uses up a lot of energy being cross about things. Oh, getting upset about playing a uh, playing a statistically inept uh, <laughs> statistically inept race, and then when <laughs> stuff goes wrong, having a bit of a whine about it. But that's that's what we tune in for. Lovely guy. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, lovely he offers, guy. He offers a clear product. You know, is a obvious there. And now Shublang, by going with the I fall into the classic uh, courses for trouble, which is. Um, getting hand, all... hand to Sorry. hand with a, with his chores. Yeah. And then they have to end with, depending on one these sprints, red dice. God, I remember when all this was death. Weirdly, it's all slowed down. The removal count is actually only one each. Uh, there's one death on each side. Uh, rookie Beard Wait. is dead. 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 And... Uh, Nothing. An extremely nice claw pumping Chaos Dwarf blocker with claw, one of Christopher's only two claws. He's also dead, dead, dead. Uh, we have no Appos, uh, but they've both stopped hurting each other. They're now just using harsh words. Oh, wow, there's a lot of bacon. Uh, got double bacon in it. Yeah, there's a, there's a lot of bacon. <laughs> well, there is nothing wrong with that, uh, Jimmy. No, that's just made me so jealous. Show us, let's have a look. Right, let's have a look, God. Jimmy. I'll try and show you, what you've got. probably can't see because of the, you know, the green screen. Show the camera what you received. If the bacon's green, don't eat it. There you go. Oh, oh look at that. there you go. Four. Quality of life there. Oh, what else did you get? God. What else did you get, Jimmy? Show up. Uh, there was stuff. There was stuff. The other stuff just looks like, you know, pastry. <laughs> well, <laughs> I've, I've given up you. thinking. When I watch Shu, I just exist on pure emotion, and that emotion is love. But the death has all stopped. I mean, you know, the hearse has been sent home. The skills on the, the, the Blitzer, out I, think, work. I think that they are Blitzers, and they're optimized for that. Yes, when, uh, what's the name of this miniature Blitzer? Okay. Mighty Blow, Pylon, all the good stuff. Yeah, we might see oh. some deaths here. Uh, Crucifer busting the Hobgobs. I, I missed hat based progression. When can we get hat based progression back? From Blood Bowl 1. Uh, that was good. That was one of the few things uh, good from uh, Blood Bowl 1. Bowl three. Get a level, get a level, get a hat. Slightly different colours, can't you? No, no, no. Get a level, get a hat. It's the way the chalk ones work. They had massive hats by the end. Of them, yes, didn't they? yes, yes, yes. Absolutely monstrous hats at the end. Yeah, I absolutely, ladies. Love Chaos Dwarves, but personally, I've never been a big hat fan. I'm a purist. Back to first edition, when they just looked evil and didn't have silly hats. Oh, there you go. Look, the dirty player's going to play off now. And hobgoblins are orange. Um, oh, get the rave. Yeah, yeah. 
So the, yeah, here we go. This is um, master play. There we are. By now, now it is Chublan. the perfect inducement. So knew, the, uh, so Jimmy loves so, a foul. Do we foul here just to hobgob and for numbers? Yeah, you do. Or do we wait for the tasty? You, it's your last turn. Of course, you just foul. You keep fouling now until you use up that bribe. It's as simple as. <laughs> There may not be, I was about to say, there may not be anything to foul. Um, but deciding to pile on a KO there and reduce it to a stun. Because, of course you do. Oh, no. This stun is turned into a KO. So there we are. The seesaw seesaws back. Sorry, what we're saying, right? right now. The, uh, the equity of that DP has just gone up significantly higher. It has. Yes, because of the because uh, of the bro. Wow, you've just said something that makes total sense, Volfos. Massive equity shift. I know you're trying to be ironic, but accidentally you're making sense. I know, right? Oh, oh man. Let's not forget one thing. There we Crucifer are. One KO, also, one cans. At this point, you do lay that foul in because now it is yeah, Cruz was now capped at eleven. So any reduction here is an on-field reduction. Oh. And it's dead, dead, dead. You're too far ahead, PC. Oh, I've got ahead of you. That's true, yes, for some reason. I'm also, I'm also at the same position as you, PC. But yeah, Jimmy's a little uh, low. Oh, the Vaco is slowing, slowing language. him down. Maybe he's done streaming it, but um, if you watch it in Discord, you'll see it. Um, yeah. No, right. That's all it is. He's travelled forward in time. He's watching it about 10 seconds ahead because of his magic. No, I think it's, uh, I am too, so it's probably Jimmy slowing down time while eating the bacon to enjoy it more. Exactly. The world does slow down as you eat bacon. And the egg. The egg is very nice as well. What is it like? So what, what is it like? Is it like a circular egg from McDonald's or is it like a folded egg? It's like a, a folded, folded scrambled. It's a folded is, there, scrambled. is it still wet or is it fully cooked? No, it's fully cooked. See, it's, that's what I get from my greasy spoon though. Just a lovely bit of bacon but with a, a genuinely just still soft yolk on my egg. Oh, fuck it. I'm ordering yeah, McDonald's it's now. Extreme, huh? Yeah, yeah. There's Amanda knows his eggs. Right, it's time to order McDonald's breakfast. Well, it's still open. I hate myself. Oh, we could order a doner kebab. No. no. Why not? Even though it's early evening somewhere, that Why is not? not morning food. That's a wrong thing. There's nothing wrong with ordering a doner kebab. That's like eating cornflakes. Uh, I mean, cornflakes are fine in the evening, and they're fine in the morning. You just can't eat cereal in the afternoon, can you? That's. It's just what about stupid. KFC? <laughs> I eat porridge for dinner well. most days. No, thank you. I reject your uh, power, uh, up the oil, mate. oppression. You'll have cornflakes 24-7, will you, fair man? Oh, I will. Uh, if I feel like it, um, uh, I'll eat them. I'm my own man. I can eat whatever I want, whatever I want. Yep, yeah, yeah. I, I, I can eat a bit of cereal whenever, to be fair. It's pretty good. Yes. Yeah. Okay, fair man, would you, would you paella for breakfast? Because that's the sort of level we're looking at here. Well, I'm from the part of Spain where paella was not very common, but rice for breakfast, 100%. Mate, the McDonald's is closed. What is this shit? Why is it closed? <sighs> oh my god, another Kaz. Another bad, another Kaz there. Just a badly hurt. Uh, but it's numbers, numbers, numbers. Crucifer now capped at nine. Uh, the dwarves are still at 11. Uh, if you're interested. And if you're not, and you're just dreaming. Look at bacon. me, absorbing uh, heat there. Oh, there we go. Oh, oh this doesn't look good. Uh, uh, he can't pile on because there is a dirty player and a bribe also for uh, Crucifer. Yes. Yeah, no, sh you're, you're absolutely right. I thought he was going to anyway because there are, you could have put a couple of dwarves up to sort of protect it a bit. But he didn't. Some restraint from Shu. Probably Ooh. not the same restraint. Oh, ah, no, good call from Volk. He wants to foul. Um, but he can't. There's only one assist on the, the piece that's down. 
I don't think it could be a foul this turn either. Though. Hokangi foul is a GFA foul. Yeah, and a total waste if the bribe goes because it's worse. Yes, and uh, only to get that to plus. Nah. Nah, he back off because he's scared of the dirty player. Well, also, I mean, perhaps it's time to change the tactics because we are now 11 v 9. There's only one claw on the field. I mean, the two bulls are still a waking nightmare, but we've we've got numbers up, we've got the ball, um, and we've still got a wizard. That's that's a really good position. Do we now need to play a little less rowdy, or do we just still kill everything? I go with the classic kill everything. Yeah, yeah it's, 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 as I said, it's it's way, yes. to play that, you know, to that. You think change gear now, Jimmy? No, I said he didn't get here by being conservative. Keep the pedal exactly. on. Oh. Yeah. You know, there is a drama equity, you know, the story equity. Oh, I'm a big fan of that. Yes, you know, uh, the survival of a character is based on his charisma, not the rest of his uh, attributes. You know, cool uh, guys live longer. With story, I'm not sure that's true, but I want to live in that world, so I'm going to say it is. I oh, absolutely yeah. agree. Right, McDonald's has just been ordered. Now you this is horse. this is the not okay. One more time. Yeah, that's that's perfect. I was just saying that all his strength, both his bulls and his plus strength chorf, are all over on the left side of his defence here, on the right as we look at it. And so, of course, Crucifer instantly spots that and corrects it slightly with some uh, with a clearing blitz over on the other side and some reinforcement over there. Wow. Okay, so we were just talking last round about how the plus one assist foul probably wasn't worth it in case the bribe went. Crucifer feeling he's in such a tough spot that he felt it was the call he had to make. He's yeah. going to know that was pretty bad odds. Um, Crucifer feels he's needing to start to high roll this here. Yeah. Crucifer is very conservative, by the way. He needs to do, you know, a roady play, which is usually once or twice per game. He does it, uh, no remorse. Can be, you know, nice. have to run it five plus Sometimes or whatever. Sometimes you've got to do it, though. Sometimes you got to roll the dice and just go hard. Otherwise, yes. you're just going to lose. Like, but you're, exactly. you're losing the momentum. You're losing the swing of it. You just got to exactly. go. Yeah, yeah. No, I think it was the right thing to do. But it's, um, again, we've seen them both notably change tactics within the last turn. Cruz for feeling he needs to go a bit more rowdy and shoot. Yes, like Cruz is a bit more controlled. Cruz wants to win this in, in regular time. And so he needs to out take out. out. Sorry, Fab. Dorfs. Yeah, yeah, no, he absolutely does. Or else this is, this. even though he's 1-0 up, this now looks like a long loss, doesn't it? This looks like an overtime death for the Chorves. It does. That was oh, fucking amazing, that. Thank you very much, Fault Force. No worries. Um, you eating your fruit box? Go get your fruit box. No, Come on. no, look, here's the sausage no, no, no. and bean. Sausage and bean. That is a bit green for some reason. But there you go. The sausage and bean is green. Yeah, on the green screen, it doesn't show up properly. Oh, okay. Did somebody take a screenshot of that? That's pretty. It's literally just Jimmy holding up a <laughs> holding pastry. Exactly. Just Greg's things. And of course, Fault Force, as well as our uh, our native Jimmy feeder, one of the first to call that huge equity shift that we've seen here. What can you do? What can you do? A you line of bodies. Speed. There is a, a line of bodies protecting the ball. <laughs> uh, no, lovely offer. But as I said, I'm about to take my son to uh, his day's activity. And I'm oh, going to pick, pick up a take breakfast. Take care of the way family. Way and do a little bit of local shopping. So. Get the greasiest thing you can delivered. And then when you come back, you can stop at uh, some place to eat something and uh, comment about the deming while you eat tons of bacon. What is the correct amount of bacon for a sandwich? All of it. All of it. Like, assuming, okay, assume you've got unlimited amounts of bacon, right? What is the correct amount to put in a sandwich? Is right. it like four slices? Well, let's let's talk a bap, right? Well, first we need to just, I mean, yeah, the perfect amount of bacon. I mean, son, are we talking back? Are we talking streaky? Is it smoked? Is it not smoked? We're, we're, talk, we're clearly talking, who is unsmoked, honestly? I don't we're talking know. smoked, <laughs> thick cut rashes. We're not talking streaky cra American crap. We're talking thick cuts. Oh, no, you see, I like some streaky. 
Uh, but I do love, you know, a lovely uh, a thick cat. Have you ever come across black bottom bacon? Oof. I haven't. It's, oh, no, I uh, have. I have. Steeped in treacle. Yeah. Oh. Very, very nice. What the fuck do you mean, Oriolens? This is not a balm cake. It's a bap. It's not a tea cake. It's not a cob. You know, you can just about call it a roll, but it's definitely not a fucking balm cake. I think you need to be a little less, a uh, little less racist there. There's about thirty-five different ways of referring to referring to a bread roll in Britain, and all of them are valid. No, they're not. <laughs> they're not valid. They're like the thirty-five ways of saying is no. It's, it's a... not a tea cake. It's not a cob. It's not a balm. So it, it, like it's a fucking bap. At least you don't say it's a bread cake or a fucking muffin, honestly. Or a morning roll, Jesus Christ. It's not a batch. Definitely not a batch. I mean all of them are fine except batch. Batch is wrong. It's a roll or a bap, either or. You can just about get away with calling it a bun. Isn't it a stotty in some places? No, it's definitely not. As, in Yorkshire, it's a stotty, but it's definitely not a stotty. There's also a scuffler as well. Honestly. Oh, that's actually made me angry. Like, legitimately angry. Flux Streamer wants his bacon in a cob. Jesus. I think anyone in Yorkshire shouldn't eat bread. They should just have everything in Yorkshire puddings. That would be delicious. There's a there's a place in London, right, where you can get like stuff. Just it's a specific like street food vendor that uh, puts stuff specifically in Yorkshire puddings. Yeah, there's a takeaway Loads place stuff. in York oh. that does them as well. That's genius. That's brilliant, man. Um, Stradic, you do understand that all of these words mean bread roll. Just in different villages you mean, around Britain. You mean bread bap? Oh. Right. You're right. I'm Which back. one is it, Jimmy? I'm back. Thank you very much. Which one is it, Jimmy? Come on. What? Come on. What is it? What? We're not at a we're not at that thrilling moment, I revel. Um and there's been a lot of bacon knocking about. Bacon. Do you know what, what the what perfect the amount of Jimmy? bacon is? All of the bacon we've covered this is yeah is as much as I can physically eat. That's a lot How many of bacon. bits of bacon can you eat though? Oh, I, yeah. We're talking thick cut bacon, not streaky. Thick cut. You know, yeah, fuck you streaky. Know, you know the uh, Sainsbury's taste the difference packets, yeah. the family sized ones, sort of mm -hmm. about three quid's worth. Yeah, one of those fills a four, two sandwiches perfectly. But then you see, I like the streaky, so that's about seven slices of streaky per sandwich. Usually I've eaten one or two, so maybe six. I I can... Pr oh, I don't know. I, I reckon I can get up to... Like, if we're talking, like, proper English bacon, right? Like, non-streaky, non small, yeah. tiny little shit yeah. pieces. Proper I reckon back I can bacon. Probably, yeah. I can get through about 12 at the most. Oof. Even thick cut, that's a lot of bacon. Yeah. I can get through about 12, and that'll be in two sandwiches. Like, two sandwiches of six. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Pussy. Yeah, if you put egg in there, I think that would be a that would be a bit of a gut-busting sort of brunch. Yeah. You call uh, me a pussy. I, 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 I can probably <laughs> match you. Yeah. You the go. secret, if you're going with lots of bacon, is not to do the full English. Full English, I can probably only manage about three or four slices of bacon. But then I, yeah, I'm always leaving Whoa, the beans. Oh, think it's cold. I think they're in the... In it the, did, you know? yeah. The well, the deaths have still slowed down a little, but, um... Oof. I have 30 rushes. Easy. Right, Are you okay. having bread with that, Jim? Or are you literally just eating bacon? No, no, that's, that's you know, in sandwiches. Two sandwiches. Okay, okay wow. fine. Tell you what, Jim Cobb, 2022, when that happens, yeah, we'll do we'll it. Yeah, we'll do it. Oh, we'll yes. Do it. Yes, we'll a do bacon it. standoff. I'm going to hold you to that. I'm not joking. Never before has anything even vaguely tempted me to come to Jim Con. <laughs> Until now. <laughs> oh, you're going to need to get help meme back, though, Jim. We need him for no. the punch help meme event. No, no, no. no. We'll see. It's a long time. Amends. It's a long time. We, we, we got time. Give it a few months, and then Jimmy will warm up to the fact about having help meme back around. No. It's the way it always is. Just like Fash. No. Right, yeah, he is split his team here. The Bulls can fuck off, and yep. this can be very, very, very bad for you. Chew. Yeah. What Chew talking about, Willis? 
yeah, I mean, there's a... I think if he was going to come with the Bulls, he needed to start with a one die there, though, Jimmy. I can still come with right, he can open it up with the other bull, can't he, on a pow? Leaving one bull to come around for the runner. Yeah, got... I'm just You're not sure he's that worried. Again. He's got the other runner there as well to recover. Most of the scatter squares are going to be solid. But certainly, this is he's not as on top of this as he looks to be at yeah, the start this, of this drive. This is, this, is a, this is brutal. This is like 2D's the ball, and it's here, isn't it? And it's it's all he's in a world of hurt. This is, yeah, you just take the ball hit here. Yeah. Oh, my McDonald's or, breakfast is about he, to be delivered. Okay. No, he's going for the other runner. Wow. Cruz being conservative, who who would have thought thunk it? I mean, he doesn't need the turnover, just needs the stop. But, yeah, I'm not sure I like that. I really like going for it. You've got tackle and everything. I think you go for that. And you can still move in here as well. And then it's like it's just brutal. You've got everything on it. I mean, even as now, it is, yeah, it was only a break tackle and three go for it, so two die, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. yeah but the problem is, is then one of your nice bulls is stuck behind a cage of dwarves, could easily get surfed, could easily get fouled. Crucifer doesn't like exposing his nice pieces once he's used his apo. But I, I mean, I'm with you, Jimmy. I think that's how you win the game. Yeah, that looks really strong. You have a bull one side, other bull the other side, strength four the other side, and it's like, that's not easy to get out of. Yep. Yeah, I mean, even the push would have been ruined this turn. It's... But Chris likes to be conservative, so... I mean, now, more or less, Shublang team is divided in two. Yeah. Yeah, I don't... I never liked this offense. If he was going to commit to the side, he needed to yeah, get to more available to do it with. Um, and frankly, I, I think the change of gear maybe came a tiny bit early. I think he could have been another piece up. Two oh, plus break tackle. You could have two plus break tackled and three GFIs. Oh, there's a foul. Oof. Big foul. Big, big oh, foul. Oh, big, big, massive KO there. Huge. Did you feel the... Oh, no. He's off getting his breakfast, isn't he? But the uh, I wonder if Fault Force felt the rumblings of that equity shift. Yes. Uh, yeah, yes. Ducky, uh, maybe he did have to up. Uh, and now, yeah, maybe there was an up there. Yeah, and I mean, now for start, the situation it works. is very dire for the dwarves because yeah, they're surrounded I mean, by very powerful pieces. Yeah, no, we, we, we can just pull, we try and pull back this turn, don't we, and uh, reunite yeah. the team. Yeah. If anything, abandon the runner and the um, the beard at the front. You try and dodge, probably the blitz are out, and then the runner once everything else disappears. This is exactly the problem, isn't it? It's exactly what I said when they get down, when they're both down players. Yeah, you know, it's the, suddenly the, the Chaos Dwarves. Yeah, if you picked three players, then the best three on the field are Chaos Dwarves, aren't they? Mm. Yep. So whilst those players remain, the less there are, the more impact they're going to have. Very wise from Jimmy. Yeah. And so there is a problem, you know, doing cages and all that. The Crucifer has a right. strength five bull with break tackle, you know? Yeah, so, so now we've got uh, nothing but problems here. The bulls are once again directly threatening this ball. As I said, there are two three-plus dodges. They're not going to get all the way back to the ball, but they can get back a bit more relevant. It, I might even dodge the blitzer back, and if that works, dodge the runner and move it up the sideline into the backfield. Ooh. That might be the play here. Try and split these dwarves, these yeah, dwarves so up a bit. Shublank has three rerolls, so you know he can yeah. try the dodge. Oh. I'm back with my McDonald's breakfast. He goes with the runner first. He oh, does go upfield, as I suggested. Oh! Oh! Nice. Wow! Rowdy! And then the beard before even the blitzer. Who is sat on a claw piece. Yeah, but he was getting surfed potentially, wasn't he? Yeah. Um, look at this. Everything's gone. Wowie. What a bad ass. Great yeah, nice and yet, rolls. And yet none of it has tried to reunite with the ball, Jim. He's no. further split his team in half. <laughs> Which and I mean I don't I do love going around that corner. Yeah. I, I'm not sure coming with all three of them makes sense to me. I might have pulled the blitzer back, but it's 
it's very rowdy. It's definitely seizing space. I think he's gonna blitz the long beard in the guard long beard. Now I'm gonna have to go and uh, assist my son. I think and make sure he's getting where he needs to go. I might be back for a couple of minutes, but it's uh, heading towards that time. Let me just go and check on things. If not, I'll love you and leave you. And I trust this is going to end with the the full on shooing. <laughs> yeah. But I, in my heart, I don't know. This is still anyone's game to win. It's very exciting. See you, maybe. <laughs> Are you dares fault force? Are you dares? Eh? What? 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 Jimmy, I'm eating McDonald's breakfast. <laughs> eh? I'm on a mission right now. I'm on a mission. Mate, I got a double sausage and egg McMuffin with two extra sausages in it. Double cheese. I got two of those and then two hash browns. Delicious. That's a lot of. And now I'm uh, I'm dabbing it in uh, in Nando's Pyrenees. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> yep. I would I would agree to be honest. An impetuous lad. Not my cup of tea, but hey. And now I'm gonna wash it down with a uh, with a 500 milliliter fan of Red Bull. Jesus. The whole energy there. Getting wings. Bacon wings. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Best kind of wings. Well, now... Uh, ah, there you go. That's... Yep. Basing the ball. Yep. Yep. I mean, how good are the bull centers, for God's sake? It should be illegal. Yeah, they're really, really fucking good. Oh, this is my hangover breakfast. Is it so cold because eating it feels like you've got a hangover? <laughs> nope. It fixes the hangovers. It's fucking delicious. Delicious. Oh, he's fouling. He's fouling. He's coming in. And he's basing the ball with a foul as well. Brilliant. Doesn't do anything. GFI attack here. Yep. Yep. Right. He's, scored. he's got the scoring threat. And yes, in theory he has a scoring threat. Oh, oh shit! He's just fireballing these guys. Jesus fucking Christ! He's oh casting. my god! What? Nuclear launch detected. Niggling. Oh, 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 holy shit! This is bonkers, isn't it? This is absolutely. I mean, the niggle doesn't really matter at this point. Well, if he gets for through the final, to the final, probably if he wins. Yeah. But yeah, yeah. Look cruise. at the cast box of the chores. Yeah, Cruz hasn't hardly got a team left for the final if he gets there. Three, two chaffs down, and four, five, one, two, three, four total. Four out of five are missed next, at least. Jesus Christ. I'm tired, maybe. Chublang absolutely proven, you know, no chaos or anything, just only the good stuff. You're tired, maybe. No shit, you've been streaming for 17 hours and 35 minutes, you cretin. Yep. Plus, you ate a whole shit ton of bacon. Yeah. Yeah, now all the blood going to the stomach, you know, feeling sleepy now. <laughs> yeah. Maybe it's just another 10 hours of story booth brawl before I go to bed. I did not sleep, no, Steve Martin. No. It seems I've been the only one, you know, that they went to bed like a good boy. <laughs> well, I was really tired. I've been living like a log. I was really, really tired. I was too, but it's just so easy. It's so easy to play story booth brawl forever. Get up to 24 hours, and you can go to bed. Thanks, Fault Force. I can go to bed whenever the fuck I want. No, you can't. Yeah, I can. You're here to entertain people. I don't have to entertain none of you motherfuckers. Wow. Ooh. Right, you heard it, boys. Cancel your subscriptions. <laughs> <laughs> okay, down, let's fail. One die. I do think it's bad, I Ravel. I do think Storybook Brawl is a bad game. But 
I it's think easy. It's easy to just play continuously, and it is fun. Like it's very addictive and fun to play. But I don't think it's a, a well-designed game, you know. Oh. But then, like, the you dog. know, chess is obviously a well-designed game, but I just don't want to play it. That was really necessary. I wouldn't have re-rolled it there. Who knows, but is it necessary that I drink my own urine every morning? No, but I do it oh, anyway. Oh, that's the quote from the movie uh, no, like Dodgeball. The taste. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> brilliant, absolutely, absolutely brilliant movie. The closest will be to have a Blood Bowl movie. <laughs> yeah, it is, isn't it? <laughs> I didn't think of that, but it's true. Ooh, does he do the extra GFI to get the push into here for an extra hit? Showing your age here with all these quotes. That movie's not that old. Yeah. No? No. It's probably, it's probably like a decade old now. But Maybe a little more. More than that, because I was uh, living, uh, still living in Spain. So. Ooh, oh, there the you go. Get the pow. Got the armor break. This cool bit. This cool <laughs> Oh my god! Oh my god! They forget fact! <laughs> oh, Salo in Soccer! Oh, another brilliant movie! Okay, time to drop the GG! Oh man, it's a 2 plus. Do you, do you make it? To run, run towards freedom. Do you make Wild it? Wild horses! I don't think he'll dodge, you know. I don't think he'll dodge. He has to dodge. He doesn't have to. He oh, doesn't my. have to. That bullet is a string five, so you know it's very safe there. I mean, uh, no one can come and uh, to die that bullet. If he does it, just for uh, style points. My but my dreams are in tatters. My world is shattered. Oh, hello. It turns out that, a, as has been pointed out, cruise control is better than a shoeing. <laughs> the hoodoo that shoe do is doo doo compared to what Crucifer can do. <laughs> yes. Oh man, warm Red Bull is fucking delicious. What the? What's the chance for shoe now? Try to uphill the ball, uh, looking for a miracle. Yeah, I guess I'm, so. I'm tempted to say, Jimmy, that running half of your team away in the opposite direction to the ball when the ball didn't look very safe. <laughs> yeah, that was that was an interesting option, you know? Wasn't a brilliant idea, but... I'd... Maybe Shublang watched Aurelien's game yesterday and say, I can do that too, you know? I can run up the field. Yeah, I, yeah. it's terrible. Well, yeah, it's looking pretty, pretty good for you, though, Ori. Two out is great. The, claw. the pylon guard is gone. The yep. guard mighty blow is gone. Brackle gone is nice, isn't it? No, it's probably Brackle yeah, that's one, the one is also isn't gone. gone. Ah, no, it's not, that's no, the no, only one that isn't gone. dead, yeah. Where is it gone? Well, it's, I mean, it's. You'd be mad at this point to think anything other than a high elf victory. Well, I don't know. Chris is very good at Blood Bowl. He is very good at the Blood Bowl. The two bulls are both fantastic. Yeah. Um, Only one of them has tackle. Yes. But the other one is very, very strong. Yeah. But of course. My commentary and will be totally unbiased, but of course I'll be cheering on Aurel and sis, 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 sis. Yeah, yeah. Oh, as, you, much as, we... as much as I... Uh... Love uh, Crucifer. I think this is the, the, the chance of the high elves of, you know, oh, absolutely. getting out of it that horrible list shot. of never winners. Couldn't be a better shot for them. Uh, and like you, Jimmy, and I'm a big lover of the high elves. Yeah. My favorite elf race. Um, I think we all we are three like high elves. Yeah, yeah. It's the race when I started playing Blood Bowl for the first time, that's the one I chose. Back in the 90s, when the war was easier. <laughs> and Blood Bowl was only based on who has more dirty players with Pro. <laughs> yeah, oh god, I loved, I loved dirty player Pro. 
mighty blow, get it all stacking, let's go. I'm really tired now. Mm. <laughs> Don't worry, Jim, it's only a few more times. Yeah. You know, haven't you got to whack your beanstalk a few more times with your magic sword? Oh, baby. Yeah, I'll be, I'll be, that comes that comes later. <laughs> yeah, it's it doesn't like even have anyway, two so. plus break tackle. Yeah. It can blitz itself free. Yeah, I really like not dodging last turn. Yeah, that, that dodging there the other was pointless. Lovely, lovely move. He gets an extra hit with the bull. And with that bull go Shublong's hopes and dreams. Yep. Hello, Kevin Jordan. I've I've got a new Battle Brothers, by the way. <laughs> Storybook Brawl is is the same as Battle yeah. Brothers where it's like Is there any play all day? There's a... In this case, nearly eighteen hours. Oh, it's not easy. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then a four plus. One, two, three, four. Two plus, two plus, four plus, two plus, and you can chain a long beard in range. Yeah. But then you need to power the bull, and then just to tie up Hill, the one with the ball after two more go for it. Yeah. No, no, he is trying it. He has filled the first square. The second one can be filled actually with the long beard, so filling it with the runner is better, but it, it means nothing to fetch. Yeah, now here's the push. There you go. The guy is not uh, putting his arms down. He's going to fight fine under as the a last push, But this one needs to be a pow. Oh, no, it doesn't. No, the push angle means the push is fine again. Yeah, yeah. So that was nice work from Shu. Yeah, so he says from right square, so he's got 2D. Yeah, I mean, it's a long shot, but it's it's nice. Well, um, after we have seen this uh, challenge, I don't, uh, I think this kind of, this could be up healing to two paws, instant death. <laughs> it certainly could be. But the fact that the piece doesn't have mighty blow adds to the odds of that happening, in my experience. Canoring threat. That's Brilliant. Canoring threat. That's love, love to, to see it. it. Oh. Oh, that's it, GG. Well, well done for trying, but it's a cruiser for final. What a final, the five-time champion, you know, the legend, the absolutely, that the, became the billion in the story Mr. now. Mr. Blood Bowl 2. Mr. Blood Bowl 2 versus Ori Lensis and his team of absolutely regular guys. <laughs> yeah. As a one double in the whole team, and has managed to reach the final, you know, against all monsters. Mm, incredible. Chu clearly ran out of blood sacrifice at the wrong moment in this semi-final. He has spent everything on Mr. Page. <laughs> yeah. Again, I managed to cause a massive amount of pain to the chores. It's like uh, you know, uh, making things easier for our alliances in the final. Which now I think about that, we just spoiled it, you know, in case someone is watching this video instead yeah. of the other one, but... Yeah. yeah. But Jimmy well, usually that's... uploads them in order, so the other semi-final yeah. is being going to be a day or two. And Ori Lensis is in chat, and everyone's been talking about it in chat. Yeah, so, yeah, you know, yeah. That's true, spoiler yeah. alert, he wins worst, the challenge. Worst kept secret uh, in the... Lawn's high elves. Oh. Also, yes. Shoe didn't manage to take massive, the maximum amount of advantage when he was, you know, dominating the game in the first half, in the first turns in the first half. I ravel, look, we could debate long and hard about whether Shu played well when he got up in players. Um, we spotted the gear shift, certainly, to a slightly different style. I think it, yeah, it also came with, I, I, I didn't like the idea that once but, I mean, it's, it's a minimum team, thing. He, you he know, split them again. 
there are, there are so many things going on, so many options, and you're playing an exclusive, but you know that yeah. you don't have to think about 50 million variants, you have the bulls that can go wherever they want, so yeah. like... But I mean, I, I, I can't disagree, Fermi, that sort of dwarf fundamentals is really try not to get your team split into two yeah, distinct yeah, yeah, that, that was uh, separated from each other by the entire of the other team because that probably won't work very well it's funny isn't it that both uh, Hancock and Chu Lang both like you know had it happen to them against Cruz mm. uh, the Cruz is good at the blue ball thing yeah. he is Ooh, nearly Nearly there. Well, that would have really brought some exciting and beautiful drama, wouldn't it? A double oh, uphill power there. Yeah. But with no chance of anything because it was already turn 16 for Sublank. Yeah, but still. So that was, a, you know, a, a, a scream, him, example, it would have a scream of saying, you know, I am so good at this game. I managed to hit your ball there. Absolute and you say respect. Anything. If it bounced out and got thrown up field, a beard could have got to it and thrown it up to the other runner. That's all right. Yeah, okay. Yeah, MVP one. to the dead. Incredibly sure. unlikely, but possible. Yeah. There was the so base. the dead dwarf gets the MVP. Uh, that's traditional. Twelve armor breaks for uh, Shublank mm. and six. Six kills. Four injuries, two kills, one KO. So, you know, maximum efficiency with armor breaks. <laughs> Unbelievable. Unbelievable. He, he shoots with armor pressing bullets. Wow. I think proof positive there that uh, Cruz is quite prepared to uh, to lie down and take it and still come out the other side. Whereas Mr. Page, if you do that to him, he, he doesn't come back. <laughs> well, I think he will, but yeah. Well, there you yeah, go. he could he could have if you know if the deaths have a stop at some point, but the deaths never stop. Yeah, that's the thing. Yeah. The thing. Crucifer had the chance, you know, to recover for a few times, and then, okay, okay, it's, it's, it's done now, you know, it happened, it happened. We yeah, I do wonder if that gear shift, and then particularly for some reason that decision to, to, you know, build a beachhead at the front with one bunch of dwarves and try and defend the ball somewhere else, and then, I guess, move to it later in the half. Yeah. I do think that was probably what went wrong, but then suddenly the good dice came Crucifer's way. He knows how to use them, and uh, what an impressive and professional display for yeah, him as always. I think uh, Shublan plan was maybe, you know, isolate a bull and something like that, you know, saying, okay, I'm losing players here, but he's losing more. But usually with uh, against Crucifer, that doesn't work. Yeah, that's the thing. Cruz is just too good. Yeah. And won it again, just on good play, the same as he did with the quarter. So there you go. All congrats to Cruz. Played great. In the final again, should be an absolute belter versus Oriol Oh, yes, yes. Absolutely. Two legends there. Whatever happens is going to be absolutely epic. It's been a pleasure. Thank you. Enters the halls of history. Yeah. And so thank you very much, everybody. Thanks, Fime. Thanks, PC. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.